Hey guys, welcome back to another Game of Fins channel update, number 17 as I do believe. First things first, I'd like to thank the new people that have joined this community, or subscribed to this channel, or generally interested in what I upload. And that's 72 new people since the last channel update, which was a couple of months ago. So I haven't been as active as I would like to be, but at the same time, I've got other commitments and other life things going on, just like you guys will be doing at the moment. And I do this for fun, and I, I really enjoy it, and I'm probably going to always continue doing it, no matter whatever happens. Um, yeah, so the first thing I'd like to mention is that I'm currently going to be moving over the Christmas break, or over New Year's kind of stuff. I'm moving to a new place that I've located where I normally live, and yeah, so I'm moving there, so I'm probably not going to have internet for a while, but... From my experience and stuff like that, that's going to be completely fine because um, I've already recorded up to 2.28 terabytes of just Gary's mod and there's some other stuff in there as well. But now I just want to quickly talk about um, something that was an idea bound stuff from the previous channel update, which was a couple of months ago, number 16, where I was talking about be humble and love what you do if you want to do YouTube and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I want to kind of reflect on what I've learned in this year because it's at the end of the year and it's the 27th of December 2013 we're gonna have an interesting year next year so I'll just share what I've learned over this course of year so anyone that's interested or anyone that's intrigued they can uh, jump in and feel that they don't have to do all the painful effort of learning this stuff the hard way <laughs> All right, so the first thing that I've actually listed here, because I've just written a little list really briefly. It's not like 100% like I thought, sit, sat down and was like, I'm going to talk about this, this, this. I just kind of, it's whatever's flowing from my mind. All right, so the first one is noise removal. It's a, a thing that a lot of Let's Plays and even myself for a very long time didn't know about. And it's so goddamn easy. Let's just say that. What noise removal is, is that when I record audio, um, I just record nothing where most likely in the background you'll hear hissing, like the computer, a fan or anything like that, or just general background noise, or maybe your mic's kind of crap. But um, you pretty much just select a bit of the audio and go, I want this chunk of audio removed from the entire thing, and it will just scan the whole audio clip and then remove it, and then your voice is crystal clear, like what I'm currently speaking right now. That was one of the most main things that can improve your Let's Play or doing any sort of commentary that you actually fix the noisy background or the dodgy mic. It can make any $15 mic sound like a $100 mic. So buying a super amazing mic doesn't essentially mean that you're going to have a super, super amazing audio. You find that the super amazing mic, like the one I currently have, picks up absolutely everything. And then you have to like go in and edit it and cut it out and all that kind of stuff. All right, so the next thing on my list is annotations. So those little things you click on on YouTube, like when you click, uh, like a little box appears up on the screen and you can click it and send you in a different direction. Now these little guys are a godsend because since I actually started doing this and putting like a uh, end credits sort of thing where you can click on new videos or different videos or completely random ones or even subscribing, I noticed a dramatic increase in subscribers, comments and actual video views. But that's also in counting that I actually um, started uploading a lot more regularly. So that actually comes into play as well. But I did notice a massive increase then from what I normally had. The trick is, is you actually want to make sure that the user experience is as simple as possible so they can easily navigate to a different video or a different playlist or anything like that. Because one thing I found that when I was watching other people's Let's Plays is that if I wanted to find the rest of the videos, it was just such a pain to just find like the second part of that video or the next part or like the entire playlist. So doing little things such as like linking in the description, the uh, link to the playlist or in the actual video in the top right hand corner or something like that saying entire play playlist or something like that, that definitely helps and it makes the user experience a lot more easy. All right, so the third thing on my list out of six things, I had six things to tell you, but I didn't tell you that, so that's kind of a bit of a problematic thing I did there. All right, but the third thing on my list is short and simple. So making short videos are easy to share amongst your friends, to be honest. Like, if you make a long-winded video, if you see a video that's 30 minutes long, you'll be like, oh, I'm not, I don't have time for that. 
But if you have very short, simple bite size pieces, and this is what CNAN is and most other Let's Play channels or, and major ones do really well, is that they keep them really short and simple and they capture the audience, and drag them in and they show them, take them on a ride and all that kind of stuff. And people leave happy. They don't, haven't wasted too much time to watch your video. So, yeah, that's one thing I like to pass along. And longer videos take a very long time to edit, and the turnaround rate is forever. But they could also be good. I just think it's when you have the user base, then you can kind of push longer videos. But it really depends on the YouTuber, to be honest, and the viewer and whoever. But that's one thing I've learned. Short and simple uh, is good. Um, the fourth thing on my list is only share good videos. So if you're in the type of marketing stage of your channel where you're actually trying to get people to watch your videos or p get people to check them out, is I recommend that you go to main communities, let's say like Reddit. Now Reddit has a subreddit called R Let's Play. And it's a fantastic place to put up uh, Let's Plays to get people to check them out. Or let's say... Um, specific subreddits so let's say i sometimes post in the ttt uh, subreddit but i only post up my best video or my good video like a video that i think that someone will watch and they'll be like that's awesome if i just post up every god knows what rubbish that i've made like i would say that the last like 20 videos all of them were pure gold and everyone will love them I only posted up like one because I went, hey, that was really fun and I had a fun time and I like to share that with people. If you spam people or treat people like garbage, then they don't really uh, respond well to that. But what I'm trying to say is only share your best video. Like don't share every God knows whatever thing you've made because most likely all of it is probably rubbish except for one thing. But by the time you've done that, you've already scared the person away. So that was one thing I like to pass along to, I guess, other YouTubers. That's one thing that I learned the hard way as well. Um, thumbnails matter. So this is my fifth thing on the list. Got one more after this is that thumbnails make people click your videos. Like I've noticed that the ones that I put thumbnails to, like the ones that I've actually, uh, put like a weird thumbnail that's interesting or something like that. Cause I'm just screwing around. Um, they actually get more views than the ones that just has random, like automatic capture or something like that. So thumbnails, if they're pleasing and they're capturing, they, then people click on them. All right, and the last thing, and this is the last final thing to wrap up this entire video, is don't let it take over your life. So one major thing that I had an issue with, I guess, my channel is that I was stressing too much, like, oh, I need to stay to a schedule. I need to upload every week. Sure, it's schedules are good because it means consistent content and people will consistently come back to your channel. But I find that when you're under this pressure and you don't need this pressure because you've got other more important things like staying alive and eating food and making sure you have money in your pocket. Um, that's a lot more important than YouTube because at, the, at my current stage, YouTube is more of a hobby thing. I like doing it. I can do it whenever I want. I use it to dewind myself from like a hard day's work. And I love um, meeting all the friendly faces and the strange people on the internet that I get to play with and they're, they're, they're absolutely amazing. Like, I'll just say that. Is that they, they make my day that I get to actually just have weird conversations and funny things and get angry and get upset and have laugh and all that kind of stuff. So, in summary of this entire list is audio noise removal, annotations, um, short and simple, only share good videos, thumbnails matter, and don't let YouTube take over your life if you're doing this kind of thing. Just... Because you'll be miserable. You don't want to make what you're doing a job that you hate, like a chore. You want to make it something fun that you come to and you're uh, springy and awesome and you're enjoying yourself. And that's all I have to say, guys. So other than that, I wish you guys a late belated Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys in the future. You guys take care. <laughs>